they check it all the names, all the names that are here, and three names from the other. Like Trump, Trumper, Biden, Biden, Obama, Obamination. What even the Confederate Confederate Federal Army Union for? What does any of it mean, right? Northerners, like Southerners, needed a convincing reason to endure the prolonged sacrifice of the Civil War. They needed convincing reason to endure the prolonged sacrifice of the Civil War. What? How civil is civil when it's C-I-V-I-L, like the C-E does, with an I, right? And I was making this video to say said Diddy. Why can't I just see him? Because they all, their names, everything that we're seeing in their mainstream, like they're bringing it all back from there into present. Now, the message rolls and rolls. <coughs> um, I just saw this D-I-T-T-I-E-A. Davis and Lincoln were both born in Kentucky within a year and 100 miles of each other. Davis, like Lincoln, was born into modest circumstances. He attended the military academy at West Point where he was a mediocre student. He abandoned his military career after seven years of service and married a 16-year-old daughter of General Zachary Taylor. This is Abraham Lincoln. Davis and his bride moved to a plantation in Mississippi, where she soon died of yellow fever. Immersing himself in books and cotton farming, Davis had emerged as a gentleman planter by the 1840s and married... Verena Hall Howell in 1845. He returned to service during the Mexican War, fought well, and used his success to become a senator from Mississippi or in Mississippi. He served as Secretary of the War under President Franklin Pierce and returned to the Senate in 1857. Although Davis's career qualified him for the prodigious, 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 what does it say? Prodigious, prodigious, P R O T A G I O U S. Task of running the Confederacy. Aspects of his character compromised his effectiveness. He had a sharp intellect, but related awkwardly to people. Sounds like me. Colleagues found him aloof. He was inclined to equate compromise with weakness and interpreted any opposition as a personal attack. Now, the The president viewed the conflict in global terms, its result affecting the hopes for democratic government around the world. Sounds familiar? He concluded that the war presents to the whole family of man the question whether a constitutional republic can or cannot maintain its territorial integrity against its own domestic foes, domestic best friends. Lincoln handled disagreements better than Davis did. He diffused tense situations with folksy humor, and his simple eloquence captured the imagination of ordinary people, even if it did not persuade his political enemies. The president's occasional visit to the front generated both amusement and gratitude from the troops, owing to his ungainly appearance on a horse and his easy way of conversing with the men. They surrendered owed aid, as they called him affectionately, with the popular tune, We Are Coming, Father Abraham. There is no record of Confederate tunesmiths 
imposing similar duties for their leaders. B-I-T-T-I-E-N. There is no record of Confederate team Smiths. And what is Diddy? Is a producer. He's a team, a rapper. Yeah, D-I-D-D-Y, D-I-P-P-I. Yeah, D-D-Y, yeah, P-P-Y. Diddy, Diddy, Virgin, Virgin. 